This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Well, that's good news. Because I definitely need my name cleared, even though I'm not helping my name by killing people. Okay. Mission clues updated. Press J to read. Samuel, the boatman, has smuggled you across the river from Cold Ridge Prison. He works for an underground movement uh, opposed to the illegal reign of Lord Regent and has brought you to meet the members of the organization. Okay. Good. Up here, then. It's a little back alley. I guess it's as safe as it could be. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes. <laughs> Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yes. Yeah. Slipped out like nothing. Not not really, did we? The Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans. But we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight. And in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. Okay. More when you've rested. I will do just that. Piero. What was the clues here? Samuel the Boatman. Uh, Piero is an inventor who is available to craft and upgrade equipment. Piero sends most of his, uh, spends most of his time in his workshop. Okay. Good. And uh, there he is. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear, all custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. I see. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Until, until your equipment will stops you working, of course. Can you upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a... Terrible mess. Um, is there a terrible mess because my body is all over the place, or is it be a terrible mess because it's oil? I, I'm not sure. Oh, Jesus. Uh, where is this oil? Ooh. Okay, we have a few books here. Dead counter responsibilities. Excerpt from a manual of New City Watch procedures. Commissioned by the Lord Regent in the face of the growing plague crisis, the dead counter is a position that will only be given to officers, usually a journey, uh, junior or middle grades. In most matters of edit or curfew enforcement, these officers will defer to the acting officer on duty. However, any dead counter will have command in situations related to the plague and the handling of the dead, including those with late-stage plague symptoms, called weepers in the common pr pran par parlance. 
Uh, starting in the month of rain, interested officers may apply for the test and, if accepted, for the two-week training tour. Pay will be administered in coin and rations of elixir at one and one-half normal pay grade. Okay. I see. Okay. Well, the vi vivisection. Excerpt from Notes of Natural Philosopher Aboard a Whaling Ship. Remarkably, each, speci uh, each specimen rather, I had to pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variants in philosophy. On the second leg of the trip east of Tyvia, the crew hauled aboard a female, some 42 foot in length. I estimated she weighed 35 tons, and the ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night while she thrashed. By candlelight, I took her apart, sketching and taking notes against her bellow. Bellowing, I cut into a mass of tentacles around her mouth. Within, I found uh, row upon row of teeth and a baleen running along the upper jaw. Through this broom-like structure, I assume she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed. Okay. So, some studies on a whale and failed experiments. Excerpt from series of lectures on natural philosophy by Piero Joplin. Of course, I have attempted to improve upon Skolov's design. Of course! And why not? After all, it is likely that th his thinking was influenced in some small way by our time at the Academy. We are all part of a community, striving to unknot the mysteries of the cosmos. Even those among us who possess the greatest minds are often led to a fruitful line of consideration. By how does one say it? Our intellectual subordinates, Skolov is no exception to this, despite the glamour of gen genius he has cast over the aristocracy, aristocracy, rather. <laughs> oh, my, my reading skills are not up there today, it would seem. And further, it is true that many of my experiments have failed. No need to gossip about it behind my back in our social clubs and in the very chambers of the academy itself. Great ambition requires risks. You may laugh now at my door to nowhere, but someday you will not. Your children will likely see it as, a commonly, as commonly as you see the electric lamp lights our streets at night. But a few short years ago, you would have laughed at Skolov's Arc Pylon, or Wall of Light. Your laughter, your, your condescending smiles, they are nothing but evidence of your own limited imagination. Oh, wow, the amount of, uh, amount of notes here. There's the whale oil tank, alright. Excerpt from the founder of the great of the Greaves Whale House. Out at sea, they secure the beast with hooks, with lines cast from the main ship and from several small boats. Buoys keep the whale from diving deep. Once it's caught, a large hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them out to the deck. They lift them into the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to port in Dunwall, where the crew works on the creature, slicing off the fattest parts uh, while it still lives. Wow, that is... That's pretty horrible. They're getting oil from the whales while they're still alive. Jesus. That's pretty awful. Whale oil refining station. Skolov no longer has the upper hand with regard uh, to supplies of whale oil. The good admiral has paid for the installation of my own system, which will enable me to work th in this place. The oil tank dispenser, when activated, will produce an empty vessel for filling. When the tank is held near the oil tank refill pump, the magnetic attractor should take the tank and lock it into the correct configuration. Using the lever will begin the refilling process. Once refilling is completed, the tank can be removed and placed in service. Extreme caution must be used in handling full tanks. They are quite unstable. The system is sound and well-engineered. It appears that the Greaves Oil Company has done something correctly for once. And the autobiographer player. Academy teaches that absurd idea that the 
energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities, subject and the necessary legal amnesty. Wow. Is this is this him? Is, is he the, I assume it's him who's wanting to do this test to people. That doesn't sound very good. Okay, oil tank then. <laughs> I, I, I feel the need to just throw it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should not do that. Okay. Perfect. Now plug it in. Just get it neat. Perfect. Yep. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city. Um, you really shouldn't put your hand near that thing while it's on. I'm just saying. I've seen some ugly things happen. And just hold still. Fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now. No, I it's. Create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. I Tell see. Me what I can make for you. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so here's my coin. I have a fair bit. A rewire tool allows you to rewire circuitry and turn security systems to your advantage. Consumed on usage. Maybe a few of those would be good. Spring Razor. A trap that can be placed on nearly any surface. I kind of would prefer to not kill my enemies, so I think I will buy as many as I can there. And we'll buy, I think, a couple of these. Disable the secure uh wow disable security devices or make them work in your favor by using a rewire tool on circuitry panels for the security device you want to hack. This consumes a rewire tool. Rewired walls of light arc pylons and watchtowers will harm your enemies instead of you, while rewired alarms will be fully disabled. Yeah, that was my intention. Not really the uh, arc pylons or anything like that. We'll buy a couple. Upgrades. See Craspo accuracy. Mask optics allows you to modify your view. Press left alt zoom. Oh, that could be damn useful. Yeah, we'll get that. Yes. That could be really useful. Okay. Thank you. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Yes, you're right. I'll head for my room. I'll head to my room for sleep. I'd like to look around for a while. Uh, before I bed down. Yeah, I would like to Very look around. Well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. Yep. Okay, so we can zoom in with that now. That far, it would seem. Not that far, but, you know. I mean, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I did notice he had a uh, another a second solution. An excerpt from a series of newspaper articles from a prominent natural philosopher by Piero Joplin. It is through no fault of my own that the uh, average citizen has expressed a preference for Skolov's elixir over my own formula, sold as Piero's remedy, a name I did not choose if you must know the truth. The public has spoken its usual message of idiocy, spending their coin as a means of selecting Skolov's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal if not superior. Much has been made over the 
uh, over the popularity of these concoctions as a means of resisting this remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because this strand works uh, with an efficiency we have not seen in the history of the Empire. This plague now making its way through the city of Dunwall is unrivaled in its effectiveness. I have studied it within the blood of those afflicted, uh, and it is nearly perfect, elegant in fact. And while it is true that Piero Remedies and Skolov's elixir are known to protect the body against the plague equally, my own has properties not fully understood which relate to the mind itself and the spirit. And it is in this way that my formula wins out. Here is where one should pay attention to this contest. For you see, Skolov's elixir, with its emphasis on brute animal body, is a crass goo bed better suited for livestock. The subtle and secret variants in the key ingredients making a Piero's remedy ensure that it works on a higher functions that separate humankind from the mindless blue-jawed hagfish swimming in when, uh, Renhaven River. Yes, he's a bit biased towards his own. Piero request is denied. Piero, no, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal? Tyvanian ore? What's wrong with the metal in Gristol? King Sparrow feathers? If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the academy everything you needed was paid off or paid for by tariff and handed out willy-nilly. But this is my bar, and what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building materials, and everything else. So you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchase unless you're absolutely required. No more copper, wire, or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city is in ruins, so no one is going to miss any of the old crap you seem to need. Admiral Havelock. Aye, aye. Okay. Can I go through here? Unbreakable door. Uh, nothing interesting. So be it. Oh, I can use the vice. Was there any reason to? Not really. Star chart, southern skies. Ooh, 75 coin. Nice. Okay. Well, can grindstone. I assume I can't do anything with that either. Alright, well, on our way then. So, can I go out into the city now? I kind of want to. A little bit. But I'm not sure how to actually get out of this little, like, sanctuary we're in. If you want to call it that. It's, it's like a sanctuary in the city. I think I actually have to do it through my room up there. So, let's head up. Uh, up these stairs. Yes. Is the man dangerous? Yes, very much so, but no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just walking here. Oh, hello. The Admiral served in the Navy under the Empress. But something happened with the Lord Regent that drove the Admiral out. If I understand it right. Right. Okay. I wasn't eavesdropping, I promise. Anyway. People talking about me. So apparently I was, um... A, a very strong person, I guess, back... I, I forget what they called me, like... Um... The... One of the guards of the Empress, pretty much. So, uh, yeah. Pretty dangerous person. Yes, okay, so this is probably how we get back into the city, then. So be it. Corval... Corvo's chamber. Very good. Alright, anything in here? Like money? Yes. Money indeed. River traffic Another unbreakable door. Landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. Okay, let's sleep. I'll go to sleep now.
Okay. Now, it's evening, it would seem. And it's raining. Or maybe it's just raining. Nope, it seems to be- Oh. Something's not quite right here. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Okay. Um. Was it something I ate? Oh shit, I think those rotten apples are catching up to me now. Strange gravity. Hello, Corvo. Hello. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? Oh yes, yes the it Empress has. Is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. Oh, really? I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world. Great forces that men call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Uh, I don't like where this Come is going. So do I owe you something now? Uh, press right mouse button to execute a fast and stealthy, f stealthy forward dash through the world. You can also use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Aiming at ledges will allow you to blink forward and climb up. Hold the right mouse button to target your destination with precision. A blue sphere indicates that you should reach your destination. A blue arrow indicates that you will climb up when you reach your destination. Really? Okay. Ow, I'm not dead. Oh, shit. Ha. Hold to... There we go. Fallen letter. Oh, it's her. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh-huh. Alrighty, chest. Piero spiritual remedy. Ah, drink your mana potion. I see. Oh, Emily's letter. All right. Corvo, I am very sad. You say that you're dead like mother. But I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it. So please, come for me if you can. Oh, don't worry, Emily. I will. Is this where she is? Might be. Interesting uh, illustration there. Or this is just some tripped out dream or something. Sure, Piero's uh, spiritual remedy. Does our mana regenerate on its own? Oh! No, no, no! <laughs> oh, what a fail. There we go. Seems like it does. Yeah, it does. It regenerates to halfway anyway. Okay, this looks like... Wow. You know, it's, it's this is a strange world we're in. It's kind of like a, a technologically advanced world, but at the same time, it's like a what what is it like um industrial revolutionary world, but with a little technology as well. It's it's kind of strange. It's a little strange. I like it. Anyway. Huh. You guys might want to, um, move. I think they're afflicted by the plague. I think that's what the look in them is. They're about to be killed by whatever the hell these are. What are these? Like super soldiers? Wow, this is... Docks? Holger Square. This is interesting. There we go. That's a climb one. Alright. Wow. This is quite something. I'm... I'm enjoying this, I will admit. It's pretty epic. Oh god! 
Oh, wow. <laughs> um, yes, this is a fantastic place to practice this because I'm pretty fucking terrible. Come on. There we are. Ah, I can blow out candles, can I? Good to know. Oh, God. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Alright, you know what? There. We'll just jump. There we go. We managed it. Days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. Well, to though. help you find these runes, I give you this: the heart of a living thing. What? By my hands. I what I um. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. Okay. Oh God, that's fucking gross. Oh Jesus, that's that's awful. Uh, equipping the heart in your left hand helps you locate bone charmers or runes. Even through walls, the heart beats and lights up when you are facing a bone charmer or rune, and it beats faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press the uh, right mouse button while targeting a person or location. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. I see. Let me just open this chest. Don't mind me. So, is this on a... Yeah, it's on a hotkey as well. So, blink. Okay. So, seven is for blink. Six is for the heart. Right. Seven. Let's, uh... There we go. Now. Ah. All the way down there. Well. So be it. Do we have to drop in here? Oh! Okay. That, I think... Did that hurt me a little? Or is this the blood from the heart? I, I can't tell. It doesn't look like I took damage, so... Must not have been too bad. Ah. Okay, let's just take a look around. Alright, down we go. Hello. Alright, now. This is where we need... Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, let's get that out of our hand. That's pretty fucking disgusting. Okay, drink one of those, and there we go. What does that do for us? Once you've collected some runes, open the journal and go to the power section to exchange them for powers. Runes can be collected and used to acquire supernatural powers. Wow, okay, cool. Powers. Dark vision. Very low mana consumption. So these are all of our powers then. Level 1. See in the dark and see living beings through walls, including their field of vision. Representations of the sound that you make are also visible. Interesting. Let's just scroll over. Uh, see in the dark and see living beings through walls, including their fields of vision. Representation of sounds that you make are visible. See useful objects and security systems through walls as well. Okay, do all of these only have two levels then? This one costs three runes to upgrade, so... This is high... No, this is high mana consumption. No, this is very low. This is high. This is very low. Rapid forward movement for a longer distance. So it'd be useful to get blink already. Ooh, possession. Allows control of animal targets for a short duration. Human tar targets is what I was hoping for. I've only seen rats, so I don't know how useful that is, but 
Uh, still. Slows time for a short duration. Devour. Some of the swarm of rats that will attack others and then disperse after a short duration. Wow. That's, that's fucking nasty. Powerful wind that can push back and knock down enemies or shatter doors. Uh, health is increased. Oh. Oh, I, th I think it wants me to go with... I could go with Dark Vision. Or I could go with Vitality. Are these passives? These might be passives. These are passives because their mana consumption is none. I got it. I got it. Bloodthirsty. Build up adrenaline, then trigger brutal melee... Uh, fatalities. Jump height is increased and falling damage is reduced. Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. Oh, that's interesting and useful, I suppose. Okay, we'll go with vitality then. You have an extended health bar. At level 2, you regenerate your health. Uh, you regenerate more health faster. Good. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Oh, watch as you will. I will be looking for you with great interest, or at least your runes. Hidden alleys. Hidden in an old bar. Yes, okay, we've read that before. Okay, we're waking up again. We have the mark on our hand, so... It wasn't just a crazy dream. We do actually have these abilities. Okay, use the heart to find the rune near the Hound's Pit. Okay, mission clues. Or tasks, even, maybe. Ah, here we go. Optional. The rune. Use the heart to find the rune near the Hound's Pit. Let's see. Shift. Ah, okay. Okay, and speak with the Admiral Havelock, probably to get to our next mission. Alright, now, let's see, six. There it is. Yes, indeed. Alright. There we go. Now. This rune is over here. So it is a bit open worldy. I didn't think it would be so open world. I had no idea. So I'm kind of glad to see that. If I can get out of the water. Come on. Oh, there it is. I see you. Here we go. The powers you obtain from runes can be used to uh, use creatively to defeat enemies or move through the environment. Blink from roof to roof, possess rats or and fish, or slow time before rushing a group of enemies. Yes, okay. Now, we can acquire powers with like dark vision or... I think it only shows what I can actually acquire at the time. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have a limited number of these runes or not. So it's kind of hard to say, though dark vision will be useful, so I think we should go with it. Press right click to see in the dark and to reveal living beings through solid walls. You can also see their field of view as well as the visual representation of sound you make. Level 2 shows you the important items through walls like security devices, weapons, ammo, coins, keys, or traps. Yes. Somewhere in the basements below, hound kills hound. And the money changes hands. Thank you, heart. I have to keep that in mind. The heart does tell you uh, important facts, so. Alright, now. Back to uh, Admiral Havelock then. I think I can uh, blink to get the hell out of here, so. Maybe. There we go. Alright. There we are. Now, can I sheathe my weapon with, like, R or something? 
Oh no, that was... Yeah, that's too, uh... Ha! <laughs> drink a potion. How do I actually sheath my weapon? Is that an option? Let's see... Sword attack... Maybe not. Is it really not? Quick save. Quick load, yes, it would be F5 and F9. Hmm. Apparently not. So be it. Kinda sucks. Anyway. Alright, so this is how we, um... See through walls. Yeah, that's pretty useful. That will definitely be useful. I can just keep it on the entire time, too. So that's pretty good. Alright. Well, let's get down to it. Yes. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide. Act in shadow. Take them apart. Piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Okay. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Alright. So, we're off to assassinate someone then. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. I can try my best. Uh, how the hell am I gonna do that? Okay, Callista has an uncle who is captain of Dunwall City Watch. Captain Kernow is a decent man trying to make the best of a corrupt regime and enact change from within. He is meeting much resistance. Alright, so. We have to eliminate High Seer Campbell. Um, we have to locate enemy, and then we have to spare Captain Kernow, which I'm a bit curious how we're going to pull that off, but we'll try. We will give it a shot, at the very least. Alright, Samuel. I'm Just ready to go. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Trust me, I've already gotten everything I'm there going go. to get. Just give the signal. Let's go. High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal, and eliminate him. An ally to Loyalist Martin is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. 